Good morning to all. You have heard the Honourable the Prime Minister, Minister's detailed account of the genesis of the new power plant. As mandated by the Honourable Prime Minister, my job was to negotiate the project through diplomatic channels. That is, submit a letter of confirmation from the government of Antigua and Barbuda to the Chinese government requesting the assistance for the power plant project. Facilitate the signing of a framework agreement between both governments. Facilitate a technical proposal from APUA and BCEG that would be mutually agreed by APUA and BCEG. Facilitate the process to secure a construction contract between APUA and BCEG. Facilitate the signing of the loan agreement between the government of Antigua and Barbuda and Exim Bank. Arrange the groundbreaking ceremony with the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in conjunction with the government of Antigua and Barbuda and APUA. Facilitating and attending <coughs> meetings by invitation by either APUA or BCEG or the Economic Office of the Chinese Embassy or a direct request from the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. Coordinate the handing over ceremony with the Embassy of the People's Republic of China and the Government of Antigua and Barbuda and the APUA. Let me speak specifically to two issues, the, construct, the construction contract and the loan agreement. The construction contract was signed in March 2008 between APUA, a statutory body of the government of Antigua and Barbuda, and BCEG, a state-owned company retained by the government of the People's Republic of China. After the signing of this contract, and before the Exim Bank executes the loan agreement, the contents of the contract and the project document was examined by various departments in China to ensure that the contract price submitted was in compliance with good standards and that the price was commensurate with the size and requirements of the project. Further, and equally important, the new power plant project was assessed by the bank, the Exim Bank, which then reported to the Chinese government and obtained its approval. Subsequent to these several tiers <coughs> of examination, confirmation, and approval, the Exim Bank executed the loan agreement. Any suggestions that the construction company, BCEG, acted outside of the watchful scrutiny of the various bodies of the government of the People's Republic of China is malicious. Further, it evidences a deliberate intent to mislead and misguide the public and undermine the national interest. Now let me speak to the process of the loan agreement. The draft agreement was sent to the Attorney General for vetting. After vetting the agreement, the agreement was returned to the Ministry of Finance and was signed by the then Minister of Finance, the Honorable Dr. Errol Court, who had discussions with the Exim Bank team before signing, which included the exchange rate and the reduction of the interest. The loan was signed for 300 million RMB at an interest rate of 2%. This was in contrast to the previous rate of 4% which the former government had signed for the 69 KVA loan. The loan is for 20 years with a five year moratorium. I must emphasize that the funds loaned under the concessional loan agreements 
are never paid directly to the beneficiary government or statutory body. Rather, the funds are dispersed by the Exim Bank and paid directly to the construction company by the bank and not to the government of Antigua and Barbuda or the APUA. Let me outline the process of how the payments were made to BCEG. A certificate of the progress of work was submitted by BCEG to APUA detailing the deliverables achieved against the schedule of works and the drawdown of the loan. The project manager at APUA verifies the work completed as stated on the certificate and thereafter authorizes the payment of the work completed. APUA then writes to the Ministry of Finance confirming that the authorization for payment has been approved. Finally, the Ministry of Finance writes to the Exim Bank confirming that payment can be made pursuant to the drawdown schedule and authorized certificate. It should be absolutely clear now that neither the government of Antigua and Barbuda nor APUA was in receipt of any funds, not even one cent. Let me also speak to the census sensationalized increase of the alleged 30 million US dollars to 47 million US dollars and the consequential disappearance of 17 million US dollars. The loan was contracted in RMB for 300 million RMB. It was contracted in RMB for 300 million dollars RMB. At the time the loan was contracted, the US RMB exchange rate was one US dollars to 710 RMB. This translated to approximately 43 million US dollars at the time. I'm at a loss as to how the figure of 30 million US dollars surfaced. We just throw figures around here, or we use a calculator to find out how you arrive at the exchange. I can only conclude that this is nothing but a deliberate intention to mislead the public. An internet search of the exchange rates prevailing at the time of the loan would confirm these facts. Just a simple internet search. The present rate is 631, which translates to 47 million US dollars. It must be appreciated that the exchange rate fluctuates and may go up and down in the future. Who knows? Anybody expected the financial crisis? That properties would be sold for half of what they're worth and less? We don't have a crystal ball to that. In view of these facts, I can only conclude that the reckless, wanton, and knowing disregard for the truth being advanced by some persons amounts to propaganda of the highest order designed to incite the public by suggesting that the government was reckless throughout the process. The benefits of the new power plant, no name the Wadadli power plant, will be addressed by APUA chairman Mr. Clavis Joseph as he did join the commissioning ceremony, I'm sure of that. Let me state categorically that the contract signed for the 30 megawatt new power plant was for new generators and auxiliaries, was for new generators and auxiliaries, and I'm absolutely confident, 100% so, that the government of the People's Republic of China, through its state-owned company, state-owned company, Beijing Construction Engineering Group, and under the capable and skinful managers and technicians responsible for this project at APUA, they ensured that pursuant to the contract agreement, a new 30 megawatt power plant was delivered to the people of Antigua and Barbuda for those who can't and don't have generators to use when the current go out. The small man my faith in God is resolute. I thank him for giving me the wisdom and the strength required to serve the people of Antigua and Barbuda through the office of the ambassador to the People's Republic of China. 
my commitment to our nation remains unshakable. Thank you.